Hey people, this is Miller here. If you want to, you can like and subscribe depending on uh, what you want to do. Um, I'm currently working on a Ford 601 Workmaster, which I'm fixing to show you. I'm showing you the springs, and then you got to watch it sometimes. These hex drives on the bottom of your distributor will accidentally come out too and drop in the oil pan. Uh, if you got a hex drive, this is a 1958 Ford 601 Workmaster. This is the old spring. It sprung out and it's not even showing any tension. This is the brand new one that came with the brand new pump. That's right here. Apparently, the currently the brand new pump in this spring. I mean, I don't know what this spring is, but it goes to a Chinese uh, 50cc chainsaw motor scooter. And that spring has a lot of tension inside those oil pumps is what you need if you want more gain oil pressure. Now, I'm fixing to show you underneath the tractor what this thing will do uh, when you push it in. And I'll show you what I've taken apart. Let me get the camera to autofocus. There we go. Now, here's the belly of my tractor. Uh, this is a Ford, like I said, Ford Farm and Garden tractor. So it's a huge tractor. You know, it's not like your lawnmowers. Uh, anywhere else that you can work on. Well, this spring will fit inside that housing like so and I mean it has a lot of tension when it presses in there so I'm gonna try to yeah it feels like I got that little plunger thing I'm gonna take it out because it needs a new ooh yeah well that one looks pretty good so I don't think I need to replace that well might as well when I'm in there there's a plunger this is an M44 original oil pump that I put back in our tractor because the new one, brand new one, wouldn't fit. So, I'm fixing to do like that, like so. This is the belly underneath your tractor. Um, that's the oil pickup, and there's all the rods and stuff I put back in there. I don't know if anybody's got these little caps that are right here, those caps that go on the end part of the caps. I only got one that doesn't have one because, uh, as you can see but yeah I mean there was all four I lost two of them but still runs perfect so as long as you can keep those tight making sure these are all tight so they're not backing themselves out uh, but yeah this is the belly of my tractor oil filter frame this is the crank crank still good everything's still good it's got brand new pistons and you know everything in it from rebuilt I do put detergent oil in my tractor now cuz I got told you can uh, give me a minute while I can get up off my shop floor I'm gonna try to replace this little plunger cuz it looks like it's been scarred oh yeah Ooh. yep we're gonna have to replace that cuz I got a new oil pump just for that reason M44 for a Ford 600 series tractors. This one's a solid. It's the brand new one. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to show you with the other one from a prime example on a workbench what I've done. Here's the brand new oil pump that I bought for $64.99 on, off eBay. Brand new. USA made. Has to be for me. Um, give me a minute, guys trying to get this on my workbench that way I can get it to staple in there all right what basically I'm doing is taking you take the cap off your m44 like so basically what I showed you you put the spring in there spring stays tensioned there's another oil cap. Like I said, I got two of these things. I got a brand new one, and then I got the original old, which I'm probably going to put the old back on. And also, you stick this spring in there and get that new plunger out. Push it in like so. Keeps tension. That's what it's supposed to do. The other springs weren't doing that. There's the new one. There's the new plunger. That's what's supposed to keep your oil pressure. I mean, supposed to. But yeah, well there's that spring. That spring went to a 50cc chainsaw scooter like brake spring. And this one is the brand new one. That one's the brand new spring. 
thought I'd make a video for you guys. Like I said, this is all oil, so I'm going to keep gloves on. And there's the, if we call it the, oh, a brand new oil pump. It does not fit our tractor whatsoever. I'm going to try to put that pressure relief valve push back into this new one. Cause, and plus put the spring in there as well. That one doesn't seem to have a lot of tension. So that's a new spring. Here's the old spring that came out of our old oil pump. You know, I thought I would make a quick video, try to show you how to install one of these things. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the new cap. I'm going to put the new cap back on to it, the new oil pump. And this is usually how you turn the cap in. Give me a minute. Come on, you're supposed to go in straight. Sometimes you have to back them out and make sure that they're going in straight so that way they thread on, no problem. And then as soon as you barely get it snug tight, and now underneath the tractor oil pump, I'll tighten it up. But I wanted to show you guys that this little spring, if you got like those 50cc chainsaw motor scooters, this spring will fit in these M44 oil pumps on a Ford 600 series, 800, 900, depending on what kind of oil pump it's running. Because this one's an M44, so it's got this little pressure relief I think it's a pressure relief valve that keeps the pressure to your oil pump and that's there is the video I'll show a video how to do to how to do a uh, hydraulic lift cylinder this is the lift piston in the 800 600 800 and 900 series tractors if you get the smaller one which I've taken another video this one I'm going to end up having to rebuild because i got to put fix up somebody else's tractor. Same lift piston. 3 inch lift piston here. The other one's about 2 inch to about an inch and 7 eighths. That took the last video. I might be wrong. Don't get me, you know, uh, thinking that I know everything. I don't. I'm just learning as I go off other people. Uh, this is Miller Bingham. I'm going to say this... Uh, once and for all, uh, please like and subscribe. Hit the little bell at the bottom. And, you know, that's all I really ask. It doesn't really matter. It's all up to y'all. Like I said, this has probably been one of the main projects of my whole entire day. And I'm going to point you to the tractor. This tractor is really great. It's just not getting the best oil pressure. Plus, it's running like dog crap right now. But other than that... It's a great old tractor. I got to finish up painting it. I haven't had a chance to get a chance to paint it. This is like, you know, my only other week off of uh, Christmas and have to work a whole bunch. You know, everybody should know about the work life. So, pretty much great tractor overall. Just needs a few odds and ends done to it. So, I thought I'd go ahead and take a video and uh, show y'all how to do an oil pump. This is it got an M44 hex drive oil pump. Uh, just like I showed you here in the video, oil pump right here, that's a brand new one. The little caps, it's not rebuildable like the original. Uh, of course, the original is pushing more oil pressure and it bolts easier. The two main bolts on the flange here do not fit those tractors if you buy a new oil pump. I just buy a new oil pump just for the parts inside. But that didn't work either, so I'm thinking about doing this little trick with this so hopefully y'all have an awesome day um hopefully y'all had a very good merry christmas and hopefully you'll have a happy new year please like and subscribe have a good day